Good morning from somewhere in western Pennsylvania. It is uh, about 5.30 a.m. Uh, we're on our way to an event. So, yeah. The good news is it's a one-day event, so not too much to pack in the car. Bad news is it's about two hours away. So two hours up, two hours back. On the world's most expensive toll road, no less. And the whole week's been beautiful, sunny. Now we've gone from 40 degrees out to 70 degrees out. But of course today, 100% chance of rain. So we're gonna make the best of it. Uh, the event we're going to, uh, three different units were invited. My tiny group was invited, so I'm very happy to have that opportunity. And hopefully, if we get enough people, we should have about maybe as many as 30 people, which is pretty good considering this is an event with no real Civil War significance, but we're all going to gather together and hopefully be able to do some large-scale drills that if, we're, if we weren't together, we wouldn't be able to achieve. And hopefully there's a good crowd, even with the weather, and we'll be able to educate them. All right, time to get the sucker loaded. All right. Like I said, just a one-day event. We got our shoes. Got the cartridge box, canteen, knapsack already filled up, ready to go, painted blanket underneath, our haversack, and our Enfield. Yep, sounds good. All right, here we go. All right, got off briefly at the Pike, took a stop at New Stanton. It's the last plaza before the end of, uh, at least the western end of the state. And there's still more than half of a journey ahead of me. Here we go. All right, we're at the festival. Well, I've actually been here a half hour. Like most festivals go, when I try to get in, they tell me to go to a spot, I go to that spot, then they tell me I can't go into that spot. Lovely, lovely. So then I go, to be fair, I'm not too far off from the festival grounds. It wouldn't be my except for the rain, and it was coming down a moment ago. I was trapped in my car, had my knapsack on and everything, and I didn't want to take the knapsack off, so I kind of hunkered down here in the trunk. So, see if I get access to the shuttle. If not, I'm walking the mile in the rain. What I do for history. All right, we're here at the Maple Fest here for is it Beaver Falls, or they call it for the Brady Run Park? It's Brady Run Park, but we're near Beaver Falls, Pennsylvania. About two hour drive to get up here. I've been here for about an hour. Rain has started to let up. It's still pretty cold, and you know, I'm colder because I'm soaking wet. But we have about a dozen guys here. We've got all sorts of different types of tents. We'll take a look at a different one of them. Let's take a check.
Well, it's about five o'clock. Festival's wrapped up. Rest of the unit is uh, enjoying dinner, but I gotta get it on home for work tomorrow. Oh, well, at least the sun cleared up. We were able to do uh, firing demonstrations all afternoon for the public. Uh, we were able to fire in platoons by file. And again, like I said, what was cool about this event, at least for me, we were, I was able to actually be in a group of 15, 20 guys. And it definitely helps. It definitely helps when you're trying to, if you're trying to do, uh, you know, marching, drilling, you have to be in different positions. I remember ones and twos, but you don't have people behind you or to your left or to your right. It's kind of hard to imagine. So it's great just to have the body of people there. It makes it a little easier, a little more understand what these guys went through and why they were able to do it so instantaneously after so many drills. <sighs> I now got to walk a mile or so back to my car. All right, now it's approaching 5.30 and I finally got to my car and got everything packed away and I got a multi-hour drive away. But hey, uh, word of advice, always bring a change of socks. <laughs> and I'm very lucky, I have brought myself a pair of socks. Also brought a whole change of clothes, although they kind of look like Travolta and Jackson at the end of Pulp Fiction. Look like a couple dorks. And it's now 7.30 p.m. and we're at the Oakmont Plaza. Uh, as you can tell, I'm a little bit behind schedule on my way home. So, time to have my feast. All right, the last stretch, hopefully. Uh, Start of the day at nightfall. We'll be home by nightfall. I didn't see my house in sunlight for a whole day today. All right, let's get on the road. <laughs> 